Next up, graph, like an electroencephalograph. Yeah. What do you think? Electro, so electricity, encephalo, brain. Kind of like a cardiogram, right? So we're, we're taking a record. Again, it means recording. So we are recording that information. So an electrocardio or an electroencephalograph is going to record the brainwave activity uh, happening with the brain at any specific time. Okay, so graph means recording. Okay, next up, iatry, like podiatry. Podiatry. What do you what do you think? Podiatry. So you you see, or, or psychiatry. Here's another example. So iatry means medicine. So we are we are dealing with some sort of medicine. So uh, so a psychiatrist is a person who specializes in medicine for um, psychological issues that a person may be having. A little different than a psychologist because a psychologist does not deal with medicine, right? But a psychiatrist does and they specialize in psychiatry okay so uh moving moving on ishin like a physician means somebody that's that specializes in something is, it, is it, uh, a physician is a specialist right and there are many different types of physicians many different types of uh, medical practices that somebody could could wind up in and become a physician in, but ishin specifically means uh, specialist, somebody that specializes in a given subject, right? Ist, I-S-T, like a dentist, massage therapist, oncologist, dermatologist. These are all people who who specialize in something. So again, again specialist. Um, so a dentist specializes in the teeth, massage therapist, specializes in massage therapy, oncologist, specializes in tumors, cardiologist, specializes in the heart, right? So we have, we have general medicine and we have all of these different branches that we could find ourselves in. But ist means somebody is specializing in one of those branches, okay? Moving on, itis. And of course, everybody should know itis. Itis is probably the easiest one to know, right? Inflammation, like hepatitis, dermatitis. Um, God, there, there are so many. I, I can't even think of any. Um, cholecystitis, uh, regular cystitis, if you want. Um, endocarditis, how about that? There's a, there's a good one. What is endocarditis? You figure it out. Endocarditis. Um, in, inflammation of the heart muscle, the in, inner heart muscle, endocarditis. Um, anyway, moving on. You make sure you know itis. Now, when people say senioritis, you know, seniors in high school have senioritis. Inflammation of the senior? What? What? That doesn't make any sense. Seniorosis makes more sense. Condition of being a senior in high school makes you not want to do any work, of course. Um, hopefully, none of you have senioritis in your, in your schooling, hopefully. No inflammation of seniors going on. Anyway, moving on. Uh, lysis, like electrolysis and dialysis. So when we perform electrolysis, we're using electricity to do something to a, to a structure in the body. When we are performing dialysis, we are filtering blood, specifically hemodialysis, we're filtering blood through a machine to do something to the waste in the blood, right? So with lysis, we are dissolving something. So with dialysis, we are dissolving the waste from the blood. With electrolysis, we're using electricity to dissolve a structure in the body, okay? So lysis means dissolve. Um, moving on, oid. Now I've, I've said it a lot, like um, coracoid, right? Coracoid process, this little thing. Coracoid process, uh, sesamoid, there, coronoid process. There are a lot of things that are named after what they resemble. 
Boyd means resembling. Like coracoid means resembling a crow's beak. And I just went on that tangent about how this kind of maybe resembles a crow's beak, but not like a toucan. Toucan, I don't know. You get a cor coronoid process resembles the point on a crown, uh, right? It's so hard looking at the camera and trying to figure out where my fingers. There we go. So coronoid process resembles the point on a crown. So oid, you see oid, that means it's resembling something. Uh, sesamoid resembling a sesame seed. Just that easy. Okay, next up, oma. Uh, it's, it means uh, granny in German. I don't recommend um, calling your grandmother this, though, unless you want to be mean, I, I suppose. Uh, melanoma, carcinoma, sarcoma. These are all examples. Okay. So oma means tumor. So melanoma means black tumor. Melano means black. Oma means tumor. Carcinoma, right? Sarcoma. These are, these are tumors in the body, okay? So if you see oma, it's some sort of growth. It's some sort of tumor in the body, okay? Moving on, osis. Now you see osis a lot, um, arteriosclerosis, uh, atherosclerosis. And, and osis can have a, a few different definitions. Uh, but the primary definition of osis is condition. So about 80% of the time, I'd say, if you see osis, it just means a condition. So arteriosclerosis, a condition of the artery walls hardening, right? Atherosclerosis, condition of the fatty plaque in the arteries hardening. Okay? So just a, just a couple examples. The other definitions for osis could be process or formation, like mitosis, cellular mitosis. That's a process, right? That's not a condition. Um, fibrosis, that, that is the formation of fibrous tissue. Okay, so just a couple examples where osis could mean something different, but the majority of the time it's going to mean condition. Okay, uh, pathy, like encephalopathy. Path, what does path mean? Like pathology. You know, that could also be a word root. So pathy means disease. So encephalopathy is a brain disease of some sort. Uh, you hear about CTE, that means chronic traumatic encephalopathy. So repeated blows to the head cause brain damage. And that's essentially what CTE is, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Um, Something that's idiopathic means referring to an unknown cause of disease. Okay, so path, pathy means disease. Okay, moving on. Uh, physis, physis, however you want to pronounce it. Like epiphysis, epiphysis, diaphysis, metaphysis. What specifically happens at the metaphysis, metaphyses on long bones? What specifically happens? There, right there. Remember, meta means change, right? What change is occurring in the bone at the metaphyses? The bone is growing, right? That's where new bone tissue is being produced to make the bones even longer, okay? So um, physis means growth. So the epiphysis, the diaphysis, the metaphysis, growth occurs at those spots, right? And that's what allows the human body to grow bigger as the, as the length of the bones. Of you get a lot taller if you have longer fingers, right? Uh, moving on, plesia, like paraplegia or quadriplegia or hemiplegia. What do you think? Plesia. Describe somebody that has quadriplegia. They have paralysis, right? Paraplegia, paralysis. Hemiplegia, paralysis. And so plesia means paralysis. Para, quadri, quadri means four, right? So four limbs are paralyzed in somebody with quadriplegia. Okay, moving on. Nia, now like, like this, the P is silent. 
So you, you pronounce it just Nia, but if you put an A in front of that, it becomes apnea or dyspnea. Okay. So let's jump back to our prefixes. The prefix A means without, right? So in somebody with apnea, sleep apnea, we'll just let's say sleep apnea, because that's where you see apnea, sleep apnea. What is somebody not doing if they have sleep apnea? They are not breathing. It's without breathing. Somebody with dyspnea, difficult breathing, right? So like me, when I walk up a flight of stairs, dyspnea. I just can't breathe, whatever. Um, as, as I just, just went on a long bike ride, I can't breathe, of course. Uh, so nia means breathing. So apnea without breathing. Dyspnea is difficult breathing. The shortness of breath is dyspnea. Okay, so nia means breathing. Okay, moving on. Ridge, like a hemorrhage. Well, hemo means blood, right? A hemorrhage, think about Think of the term hemorrhage and what does that mean? A hemorrhage is when somebody is bleeding, right? So it's when blood is not staying where it's supposed to be. It is when blood is bursting forth. All right, so, so ridge means bursting forth. So a hemorrhage is when blood is bursting forth. Blood is coming out of something. You are, you are bleeding if you are hemorrhaging. Okay. Moving on, rhea, like gonorrhea or uh, diarrhea. Now what, what are... Some 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 of these get a little a uh, little gross at times. Gonorrhea. What's a what's a prime marker of gonorrhea? What's a what's a symptom of gonorrhea? What would somebody see if they have gonorrhea? And then think about diarrhea. Kind of kind of not the same thing, but kind of similar, right? So rhea means discharge. So with gonorrhea. A person might have a discharge from the genital region. Diarrhea, somebody has a discharge, a watery discharge of stool, right? So rhea means discharge. Moving on, tomi, like anatomy. Ooh, it's a weird one, huh? So if I were to study the anatomy of something, if I wanted to study the anatomy of a human body, what do I specifically have to do to, to be able to see all of the parts of that body, to be able to examine all of the parts of a human body, the anatomy of a body? What do I have to do to it? What do I need to do? To study the anatomy of something, you cut into it, right? You make an incision. Um, you, you have to actually cut open the body to see all of the parts inside the body, to study the anatomy of that body, right? And, and it can go for, for really anything. You know, if I wanted to study the anatomy of a plant, I'm gonna cut open the plant. Uh, if I wanted to study the anatomy of a car, I gotta open up the car, I gotta, I gotta look under the hood, right? Kind of the same thing, looking under the hood, looking under the skin, um, anatomy. So Tomi means the incision. Okay, moving on, trophy, like atrophy. Okay, so if, if I have atrophy, if my muscles are experiencing atrophy, what are they not getting enough of? Hmm, now, some of you might be saying oxygen, it's not necessarily the case, All right? Now, the what muscles need to do to not atrophy is to move. And movement for muscles is considered nourishment, right? So, so not just movement, of course, but that's the prime nourishment for muscles is movement. Uh, then you have other things like protein and, and sugars and calcium that are good for muscles. But um, atrophy means without nourishment. So. So my muscle, my enormous muscles, my my twenty four inch pythons over here, uh, if if I stop giving them nourishment, if I stop actually eating 
well and stop exercising and moving them and, and putting them under um, under strain, then my muscles will start to get smaller. And that's that's called muscle atrophy. Okay, so people that are wheelchair bound might experience muscle atrophy because they aren't using their muscles like they should um, or are unable to use their muscles, right? So atrophy is just getting smaller, lack of nourishment. So trophy means nourishment. Okay, now I think that just about wraps up our suffixes.